Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brave for Kia, and today we're talking used cars. This one is a stock number S1011A. It's a 2018 Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. Let's go take a look. All right, Mercedes-Benz CLA 250. I wouldn't call this their compact sedan, but in the Mercedes-Benz lineup, it's sort of their compact sedan. It's a four-cylinder turbo, 208 horsepower, all-wheel drive. This is the formatic uh, all-wheel drive. You've got the projector beam headlights here. Good looking bold front grille there. So I quite like the styling here. You do have a 3M uh, panel on the top of the hood there. That's gonna keep some uh, stone chips away from there. You can see along the side here, we'll go along. I'm gonna go wide angle just for a second. Actually, let's show you the wheels for a second here. Now I've got this car to you before it's hit our detail bay. You can see there's a little bit of dirt and some water spray up on the wheel there, uh, or on the behind the wheel there. I feel like it's okay on this car because it's in great condition. It was really well taken care of. And uh, of course, when we detail this up, it's gonna look like brand new. But uh, sharp looking car here. Coming across the back side here, you can see the uh, lights here, formatic there. And we're gonna take one look over here. We'll come back to this view in a second, but right now we'll come right over to the door. We're gonna hop in. As we hop in, a couple things. There is one button there. That is your lumbar support, four-way lumbar support, in, out, up, down. You do have the Mercedes-Benz WeatherTech style mats. And of course, the power seats on a Mercedes are right over here on the door. So memory seats there, one, two, and three memories. And uh, of course, the powered seats. Looking across the dash here, let's just zoom in for a quick second. Take a quick look. Uh, left side uh, speedometer, right side tachometer. And of course, I have two eyes, the camera has one. So I can see both of these down those tunnels clearly. You'll see that one clearly there and that one clearly there. But of course, you can see that either way. If you've ever driven a Tesla, you can find out where they got their gear shift from. It's directly from a Mercedes. All right, we're gonna turn the vehicle to on. We're not gonna start it up yet, uh, just because we are inside. And hopefully it'll let me do anything. I don't know if it'll let me throw it in reverse because that's what I was hoping to do here. It will not. You do have a very really clear backup camera here. Um, let's just turn the system on here for a second. Mercedes-Benz, so nice uh, display screen here. Don't let the command system distract you. It's flickering just because it's on camera. Uh, it's not flickering in real life. It's just the way the camera interacts with these uh, high-level screens. So no big deal there. But you can see it's a nice uh, clear screen. You can change your dynamic uh, settings, which is your uh, dynamic select, they call it. And that's your um, drive modes. Coming down here, very Stinger-like. The Stinger has three vents in here that look aircraft style. Well, so does this Mercedes. And the same thing, an aircraft style vent over there. Uh, again, very much a Stinger-like feel here. Coming through here, you've got your uh, all your controls, radio, nav, uh, all those kinds of things. You've also got what I like to call rump roasters, heated seats. Let me just get my camera in there a little bit. Heated seats right down there. And you've got your automatic climate control here. We can set it to auto, actually, again, because the vehicle's not fully on, it won't come fully on for me. Scrolling through here, you've got your drive uh, or your um, command system here, which is the sort of joystick remote control for the screen right up there. We're gonna go wide angle again for a second as we take a look around the car. You can see nice stitched uh, stitching in the doors here. And uh, just again, high class Mercedes-Benz type style. We've got the seat belt down here, but that's okay. You can see the leather seats here, black leather seats. Nice little uh, gap there between the headrest makes the seats look really sporty. And uh, there's the rear seats as well. It is a five passenger car, four people really comfortably. Uh, five people, you know, fifth person's fine. One thing I do wanna show you is let's look up from these driver's seats. A uh, nice huge panel sunroof here, big uh, big uh, panoramic sunroof there, so quite nice. We're going to come all the way back around to the driver's steering wheel area. We're going to zoom in again for one second. As we do that, let's take a look at the controls. Over this side, you got your audio and Bluetooth controls. You do have a paddle shifter sort of hidden right in behind there, so you can see that there. And over this side here, I can show you how the paddle shifter fits a little better to my fingers right there, the minus on this side. And uh, those are your uh, display screen controls for the center display screen that we see right in the center of the dash, which I'm having trouble focusing on. Let's just go one in closer. Yep, camera's having some trouble getting some focus, but you can see there. Uh, coming down over here, your automatic headlights are just down over there. Ooh, you can see them. Come on, camera, I got the camera mount in the way here. There we go. And fog lights down there as well. So of course, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. It's a Mercedes-Benz. We don't even have to talk about that. Whoops, there's the car fully on. I only had it in the accessory mode. Maybe I can do that one more time. Let's see if I can throw it in reverse now and show you the camera. Nope, has to be started, and that's fine. We'll do that uh, some other time. A uh, very clear camera, though. That's uh, kind of nice. As we hop out of the car, I'm going to show you what the key looks like. There is your key. Typical Mercedes-Benz key. Kind of looks sharp. And the backside there. And, of course, it's got a number of buttons here. If we hold this button right here, 
we're getting that trunk to open. So that trunk pops open no problem. And uh, even though it's a coupe style car, you've got a good size uh, trunk in here. Again, we have to vacuum this out still. Some little bit of, actually a little bit of sawdust or wood or something like that in there. And uh, you've got a little bit of net there. So again, very, very nice car. Came in just like this. And I think that's worth showing you because it's a really, really nice car. It'll look perfect for you when you come see it. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a phone call. Phone number is 509-304-6542. You can reach us online as well, www.brandforkia.ca. And the easiest way to reach us is just click the link in the description. That'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks, everybody, for watching.